I'm rolling. Okay. Cool. So, the day that we were filming the intro video for the 7 and 7 challenge, Kaylee was a bit uncomfortable in her chair, sort of moving around and something was wrong and, and she just said that she thought it was normal cramps and that kind of thing and we just carried on. And that was Thursday the 25th. Friday the 26th, we were supposed to post that video. And Kaylee blue ticked me. I sent her the draft of the video and Kaylee never blue ticks anybody. She's um, always on top of things with her phone. So I was like, what's happened here? I've done worse than only send the video at 10 a.m. <laughs> so I was wondering what's happening. And I didn't hear from Kaylee and I was like, okay, let me carry on with other stuff. We'll just leave it. And through, through the day, I was like, I wonder what's, if something's happened or... But I didn't think of the stomach cramps at all. And then around five o'clock, Zelda sends us a, a message on the 7 and 7 group and telling us that Kaylee had gone in for emergency surgery. And this is nine days before we have to do the comrades seven times in a row. Um, so that was scary. So I ended up in the emergency room um, at like 7 a.m. Um, I, like we, I have a pretty high pain threshold, right? And so I was like, I'll be fine. I was feeling a little shitty like on Thursday, but I wasn't like, this is a problem. Um, and I got really nauseous and like the pain got worse and um, like throughout the whole night and then I was like, oh, but let's just sleep on it and see how we feel in the morning and felt worse. So I called my mom and I was like, Ma, I need to, um, I think we should go see someone because this is not normal. Um, and we got into the ER and uh, they did some scans and uh, got me some meds and then discovered that I had a twisted bowel, which is not something I've ever had before. So I was thinking it would be chilled, like they would just fix it and I would go home. And um, when they booked me in for surgery, I was like, oh, okay, this is a little different because there's a team now, like there are a couple of doctors that are coming in here and um, asking questions and, and uh, figuring things out and making plans. And uh, that was weird because I thought that there was a plan and it was simple. <laughs> and then the anesthetist came in and uh, was giving us like the, the options of what was happening. And in the span of like five-ish minutes, he went from like relatively chilled options to like very much not chilled options. <laughs> um, and best case scenario was um, like keyhole surgery to fix the twisted bowel and that would be done in like a day. I was like, that's the one that we want, thanks. Um, and worst case scenario was like waking up with an ostomy bag and that was a lot to process. Um, <laughs> Because normally if you get those, you process it for months and you plan and you get teams and uh, it's not something that you just sort of do on a Friday afternoon on a whim. So that was an intense thing. I then had like a 45 minute panic attack <laughs> um, and they'd already given me anxiety meds because I was like triggered by it the medical trauma stuff and like um, I remember them um, taking me to the pre-op um, room and uh, they gave me calming meds because 
uh, you ha I had to give uh, sort of open-ended consent to <laughs> have them do surgery and fix it however they needed to fix it. Um, so that was a lot to process because every other time I've been in hospital for surgery or whatever, we knew what the plan was and we knew what the outcome was and the doctors all knew what they were doing and this was not <laughs> the case this time. They had a best case scenario and a worst case scenario and they were gonna see which one we ended up with. Um, so that's interesting to figure out, like, I don't know what the doctors are doing. They don't know what they're doing either. <laughs> that's a lot. Um, so like the whole surgery happened, I woke up in high care and um, they, um, <laughs> I still didn't know what I was doing. I was, I was highly medicated. Um, so super happy, Katie. Um, super surgery, but like happy. <laughs> and uh, then I remember when they like did the first like bed bath or whatever, they took off my gown and I looked down and I was like, oh my God, I don't have a bag. Okay. <laughs> we do not have worst case scenario <laughs> over here. So that was good, good news. They had to go in and see, I had a super distended uh, uh, intestine and they um, decided that it was necessary to remove um, part of it. So they, cut out 30 centimeters of my small intestine. Um, so <laughs> when you think about like 30 centimeters is a, is a lot. Um, and I mean, there's still, there's still, like, there's a lot left, but it's, it's like crazy that they took out a piece of me like a week ago. Like after the surgery, I was like, I guess I'm not running. Like, there's no way that I can run seven comrades in seven days in like four, nine days time. Like, no way. Um, and like a day, a couple hours later, maybe my mom was chatting to to my surgeon and he was like, no, I think combat should be possible. And I'm sitting there like, are you the one that's on drugs? Because, <laughs> like, are we not experiencing the same thing right now? <laughs> like, what reality are you in, bro? And that was, incredible to me because I had kind of just resigned myself to the fact that like we were done now um, and we would try again next year and I like was sad about that but I was like you know it is what it is um, and then he said that and I was like huh May, like maybe, maybe it's possible. <laughs> um, and I'm not, I'm not used to being the conservative one in the situation. <laughs> I'm used to being the one that's convincing people that it's a good idea. And um, I was not that person this time. Um, and I, so I spent five, 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 six days in hospital. <laughs> um, I was uh, discharged on Wednesday. Thursday we have our Cape Town launch. Friday morning at like 5 a.m. we like left for the airport. 
Um, and we flew to Joburg. I was a bit terrified, but it was fine. Um, I've never flown after major abdominal surgery, but apparently it's fine. Just take your med lemon, guys. Um, and uh, <laughs> so we did that, and it was all chilled. I was a bit stressed when my wheelchair came up in pieces, but um, it's still working. So that's a win. Yay! Obviously, it was not advised for me to do seven comrades, um, but I'm cleared to like run if I feel good about it, and so I'm working hard to. <laughs> Like, be really self-aware and, like, um, listen to my body and see how it feels. And uh, so we're going to see what happens and how we, we're going to see, like, maybe Wednesday, day three, maybe I'll, like, get in the jogger for a little bit and see how I feel. Um, do a couple kilometers, maybe, but... We have to see. So, um, so we had our launch and we uh, encouraged people to get involved and donate and we made some, we made some Zars. So that's very cool. We're excited that we are heading towards our million land goal. Um, so we're excited. And you know, things, things happen as they're supposed to happen. And I think that we have built enough chias within the team for it to grow and be what it needs to be this year. Um, and I'm excited. So the, uh, we, we just drove for like four hours to get to uh, Bloomington. We just arrived at um, Southern Sun and we are checking in and getting bags and getting all the things sorted. Um, and then we start the challenge tomorrow, bright and early.